And Shalom, call Allah Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, GMS, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is GMS Stop and Listen, coming with another lesson. Uh, on the screen, I have uh, this brother um, from Chicago is doing this interview. It's like a three minute interview or four minute interview. I'm going to play through certain clips, and he's basically telling you that. A lot of the shootings that you see that's going on in Chicago are being done by police officers because he's saying, how, how, how can so many shootings be in that city and none get solved? Right. Well, we are your watchmen, man. We basically are. are it says in, in um, Jeremiah 3 and 15, man, the Lord will send you pastors, man. You know, in the last days, it's going to feed you with the knowledge. You know, they are baffled about how, how this is happening. But we know through the scriptures that it's it's all orchestrated by Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. You know, if he was in the scriptures, he would know. But we could filter through the scriptures and show you. I'm going to read this scripture before I get play the video. This is Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against my people. And consulted against the hidden ones, man. So this is Esau, man. They've always had little crafty schemes to go against the nation of Israel. Because when you read in Ezekiel 35, man, when you read about Mount Seir, prophesying against Mount Seir, it says right in the fifth verse, man, they have had a perpetual hatred against us, man. That's been like forever. Ever since Esau didn't get the blessing in Genesis 27 chapter, and his blessing was the sword. They have been using the sword on Israel. He, he vowed to kill his brother Jacob. And that spirit has lingered through the earth, man. It has went on from generation to generation. So these Edomites basically hate you. Whether they come in a form of an Edomite that's red or it's an Edomite that has brown skin as yourself. They hate you. They have taken that crafty counsel, man. And basically conspired against the, the, the hidden ones, the precious ones, the beloved of Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is Israel, man. You know, they have they have they have uh, always conspired to kill you, man. And now they can kill you and stand behind a, a badge that what they call of justice and get away with it and get a vacation. That's why you have so many cops, these little redneck cops going trying to be a uh, redneck Edomites trying to be cops, man. Because deep down inside, they have a hatred against Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they want to kill you. So they can go be a cop, and they know, okay, I can kill me a nigga now, or a spick, or a wetback. You know, the bywords that they call us, you know. It says, come, uh, they said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel May be no more remembrance, man. But they could. They they wipe us all out, man. But they will pay for it because without us, there will be no world, man. We are the world, man. We are the children. They made a song about it. we are the ones that make a brighter day. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> back in the day, a song they made. So I'm going to play this clip. Let you listen to it and probably break in and pause. Just get a few scriptures. Live once again with another video from the B Miles 84 Conscious Channel. Um, this afternoon, I want to come to you with my video, man, talking about. I actually want to talk to my Chicago family that's over there in Chicago. You feel me? To all of my subscribers or just people in general, man. What's going on over there, though, man? Check this out, though, right? All of those murders that is going on over there in Chicago, man. Let me tell you something right about now. A lot of those murders in the city, they are being done by police and all mercenaries, and they blaming them on gangs. Because how is it that Chicago is always winding up with a whole bunch of murders, but a lot of these murders go unsolved? <laughs> Let me. It said they being done by mercenaries, man, and police, man. So they're they they the real gangs, man. So I let you know that uh, this martial law is basically starting sedition among men. It's basically starting, man. It's all finna go down. It's all finna roll downhill, man. You got uh, Trump trying to put sanctions on Iran. 
So all this when it's gonna happen, it's gonna be like a snowball effect, man. You know? And then they say blaming it on other black gangs, man, or men, or gangs. Cause some of them gangs are of other ethnicities. Uh, let's try this scripture here. Psalms 10 and 9. He layeth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into a net. And that's what Esau doing. He lie, he lie wait in those cop cars, man, watching. Scoping the area out. And then when they see when they see a Jake that look like, you know what I mean? He, he probably ain't carrying no heat. Just a little regular little Jake, man. Esau get out and harass him and then shoot him. You know, to get one under their belt. When he draws him into his net, man, into his trap. You know, walk around the streets of Chicago is like walk, walking through a trap, man. The next thing you know, you're being carried off on a gurney, you know. Murder not saw, you know. You have mourning and mourning and wailing uh, on the families, man. You know. Tell you something right now. I talked to a retired police officer a couple of years ago, and he told me, he said, all those murders in the inner cities are not black on black crime. They're being done by police because a lot of these areas, they got gang activity and also as well. They be taking gang members and dropping them off in other gang members' neighborhoods and wound up having them killed. And also, too, they were saying that when I talked to somebody, um, so I'm talking to somebody else from Chicago, they were saying that sometimes they be um, having like, Guys coming up on them on cars with unmarked vehicles with masks on. Just because they come riding up on you with unmarked vehicles on them with masks on, that don't necessarily mean, you know what I mean, that it's somebody else or there might be somebody right. from the end. You know, you good, man, you good. You know, there might be somebody else from the inner city, you feel me? Now, I'm not going to say it's not going on. I'm not going to say there's no... I really don't want to call it black on black crime, or rather just call it crime anyway. But, I, okay, well, since... You know what I mean? Think about it, though, right? If black on black crime goes unpunished... How is it there's so many murders in the daggone city, but a lot of these murders go unsolved? That is because it is connected to organ trafficking. They are doing it over to Chicago because Chicago has become ground zero where they're attacking melanated people that's over there. Chicago is... You know, Chicago has a lot of uh, wicked jakes in there too, man. You know, this is what I was talking last night with the brothers last night. Um... If you notice those wicked ass cities, the most high will put a lot of profits in those cities, man. You got New York, Chicago, L.A., Houston, Dallas. You know what I mean? These are wicked cities, man. D.C., way past wicked. If you notice how big those camps are in those cities, man, that's just something spiritual to look at, man. The Lord going to put them profits heavy in those cities as wicked. And Chicago got a lot of wickedness, man. But, you know, the killing that goes on is orchestrated because the Lord says he's going to kill two thirds of his own people. This is Isaiah 45 and seven. I form the light. I create darkness. I I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So the Lord is basically orchestrating these deaths, man, to get rid of two thirds. Because the people who are dying, you really don't know the. Uh sins that they have committed in their past life, man. You know? Um, let's go back to Psalms. Psalms are good for explaining who that who the, who the devil is, Esau. Psalms 50, 9 and 3. It says, For lo, they lie in wait for my soul, the mighty are gathered against me. Who are the mighty right now? Esau. So they're gathered against him. He said they always be in unmarked cars with masks on. They could possibly be the police, man. And they do They do take gang members and uh, set them in different hoods, man, the rival hoods, and let them out. You know, I don't know if that was art imitating life or life imitating art, but I've seen that in movies before. I don't know if the art imitated the life first or life is imitating art. You know, it says, um, 
The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgressions, but for my sin. You know, so basically it's like Jake and them ain't doing nothing, man. They just walking around, man, probably going to the store and then their life ends, man. By by uh, crooked, crooked cops, man, you know. Um, you have to also remember this, that uh, Psalm 17, Psalm 17, let's try 13. It says, O rise, arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So Esau is the Esau is the Lord's whooping stick, man, for two thirds of you people. You know, Esau was Esau was blessing was the sword and the Lord is using him as that sword. Because you got to remember, man, the Lord says, look, two thirds of my own people, you haven't came back to me. You know, you way past wicked among my among my my men, uh, among my people found wicked men until in Jeremiah the fifth chapter. So the Lord is going to take out two thirds of you, man. He's using Esau, man. You know, but the people go around, man, wailing, but they don't know, man. This is all being orchestrated by Yahweh, man, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. A very deep place. It is a very special place, but I'm going to tell you all my Chicago family, they are lying to y'all about these murders. All of these murders are not quote unquote black on black crime. They be done by police and undercover police. And they are blaming it on murders. If you, if, if you don't got to believe me, go back and watch one of my videos. And I talked to like one or five cops and they told me this stuff is going on. So don't believe none of the media, man, because they always want to heighten up, you know, I mean, things that's going on in Chicago. How is it you always got 60 damn bodies, but where are the suspects? You feel me? There's always some massive shooting in Chicago, but there's no body. You know what I mean? I'm going to say there's, you might find the body sometime, but sometimes, you know, a lot of times you don't hear no damn suspects. That's the same thing that happened over here when the Freddie Gray situation came about. How is it we have 45 murders in one month but no suspects? How is it Chicago always having 60 damn um, shootings and maybe like 12 dead but there's no fucking body or there's no suspect? A lot of these murders, they are being done by undercover police. They are committing these murders, man. They are committing the murders. I'm, I definitely will say it's 50-50, but all of us are not killing one another like that. Because it's not enough guns. And I'm going to say, where the guns come from? These guns are being dumped off. Um, crates of guns are being dumped off in Chicago. If there are no gun stores in the black community, where are all these fucking guns coming from? Assault rifles and shit like that. You feel me? So you best believe. Yeah, we know Esau is bringing them in, man. You know, Esau is bringing them in, man. And they, and they are to uh, uh, oppress, oppress you poor people. But got to remember, the Lord sees it, man. The Lord sees it, and Esau is going to get his punishment too. This is uh, Psalms 12 and 5. Psalms 12 and 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now will I ri arise, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. That one that puffeth at him, that's Esau, man. So the Lord is seeing the violence that is done. He's seeing the violence that is done on the helpless. You know, he said he created evil, but he's also going to punish that man for touching the apple of his eye, which is Israel. He's heard the groans of the poor. You know, he's basically going to rise up and rescue really the elect first. And you got to remember, um, the elect, we, we long for him to do that. So you two thirds, really, really, he's helping you out for right now. He's taking you to the spirit world because you never know what's going to happen that he might protect you from the spirit world. Now, you how about Shimmy Al Shai could put that spirit back into a, a, a human form and you catch all this judgment, which a lot of you people are going to do because babies are being born. But he could be saying, having mercy on something that's going to come. He could be taking you away. But he's going to rescue the, uh, he's going to keep the elect, though, man. You know? There's something going on behind the scenes. But I had to come to y'all with this video, man, shed thoughts upon this because I felt the need that y'all had to hit the subject. They are stealing our organs. They're committing these murders and stealing the organs over there. You feel me? 
But I just had to come to y'all with this video, man. Share thoughts up on this. Share light up on the situation. I felt they needed y'all to hit the subject. Keep on liking and subscribing to my channel. Always appreciate the love. And this your man, B. Miles. Okay, it's about done. But this is one more scripture. He said they were organ harvesting, which Esau, man, he's wicked. You know, he, they been doing that. You know, because uh, every 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 kid you see that's missing on a milk car and they ain't missing shit. It's like, oh, uh, this is Proverbs 14 and 31. He that oppresses the poor reproaches his maker, but he that honored him have mercy on the poor. So it says, I'm going to read that again. going to read this again. It says, he that oppresses the poor reproaches his maker. The maker being Yahweh. You're, you're basically, when you oppress the poor, you're, you're taunting Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? It's like we're killing your people and you ain't done nothing yet. So we're going to continue to kill them. You know? We're going to continue to do them bad. And every time they look up, they haven't been punished. Like I said, Ecclesiastes 8, you know, just cause that judgment have been, uh, haven't came on you speedily, man. It's speedily. You're still doing it, man. You know? But he that honored them will have mercy on the poor. And Esau, does he honor Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? No. He exalts himself as God. He hates Yahweh, man. By Shem Yahweh Shai. So, no, that means he's going to continue on oppressing you until Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh sends his son, Yahweh shot down to, to, uh, to destroy America, man. And to usher in the new kingdom of Israel, you're going to keep being oppressed, man. You're going to keep being beat down. You're going to keep being put last. You're going to be, keep being the first fired. You're going to continue to be in welfare lines. And, and your next step is to be beat down and put in concentration camps. That's the future, man. You two thirds, man. They don't care about the murders they're committing against you, man. They're the devil. They have a job to do, man. That's their job, man. They don't even understand that the Lord is orchestrating all that, man. You know, so with that, all praises be to the heavenly father and son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS. Stop and listen. Man, I just hope this short lesson was edifying through the spirit. Hey, Shalom.